Hi guys, Miss Kelsey here. Happy World Voice Day. I wanted to come by and give you guys some tips, tricks, and fun facts about the human voice. So the human voice can take uh, up to 100 muscles to use, whether you're talking, singing, speaking, anything. Um, those muscles are in your chest, your neck, your jaw, lips, and tongue, all working together, over 100 muscles to work to make your sound. Without training, the human voice can sing up to two and a half octaves worth of music. Now with the proper training, practice, and technique especially, you are able to increase your range by lower, like lower ranges or upper ranges. Now, 4% of the world is tone deaf, which I find very funny because, you know, you think if you're able to hear a note, you're able to, you know, work through it. Well, there's 4% of the world that can't do that. And that can do with either a genetic thing or um, I've heard even some mental health issues can cause to, um, being tone deaf. So that's something that I find interesting. Um, voice health to me is about using your voice in a healthy, supportive manner. Now, when we go to sing or breathe or support the sound, I'm usually breathing through my mouth. And I want to expand down here where my rib cage is and expand my and support my diaphragm, which is right here. Now, the vocal folds will open and vibrate when you are breathing or talking. Um, when you hit upper ranges, ah, it will vibrate. If you hit lower ranges, ah, it will still vibrate. All No matter what you're doing, my voice is vibrating right now. My vocal cords are working and moving. That's how the sound comes out. Now, when you overuse your voice, smoke, drink, have acid reflux, poor technique, anything in that umbrella, you can damage your voice. And you can even get types of cancers in your mouth, throat, all kinds of things. And then those things are not good for your voice. So make sure that when you do, um, and even when you sing with a cold or bronchitis, that's just as damaging. And whispering on vocal rest. Those are all things that you should not be doing. So what are things you can do if you get sick and you're on vocal rest or have laryngitis or something? Lots of tea, lots of rest. And if you need to communicate, just text or use a whiteboard. Um, I remember in college I had laryngitis and the only way I could communicate to my professors or anybody is just what, writing on a whiteboard or just texting the person next to me or whatever. And it was very annoying, but when you have a voice and it's your main thing, especially as a teacher and a performer, you have to take care of it. It's so important. It's your money maker. Um, now, and even those who are like public speakers or teachers or just someone that pr does a lot of meetings, they're going to need to use their voice just as much too. So those are a lot of things that you can uh, do to, you know, not hurt your voice. Another thing about the human voice is that each human voice is different in its own way. Everyone produces a different timbre. Everybody's voice is placed in a different part of, you know, the range of the voice. And, you know, and it's funny because when you hear a voice that you are familiar with, whether it's like your favorite singer, like for me, Haley Williams of Paramore is just like, I put her up there with like God, <laughs> she is that incredible. Um, but I look up to her and Robert Plant a lot as influences. So when you hear, when I hear a Led Zeppelin song or a Paramore song or, you know, David Bowie or somebody that I really love, um, there is a scientific process happening within me. And that is my stress levels are going down completely. And instead, oxytocin, which is, which I believe I'm saying right, it's O-X-Y-T-O-C-I-N, which this is a love hormone that is released and it's, it helps you feel good, right? So even if it's just like hearing someone's voice, feel like, like your mom, like whenever I hear my mom's voice on the phone, I'm always happy to hear her. Um, or if you're talking to someone like a friend that you really like or care about, that always makes you, you feel good too. So... The human voice is so powerful, as you guys know. Um, it's able to say things and mean things that no one else can say or do. 
It's just as powerful as the brain. It's unique in its own way. It's special. And I am so blessed to get to use it every day um, as a teacher and as a performer and just as a human being with, you know, with ideas and thoughts and it's pretty great. So don't forget how powerful your voice is. Don't forget to use it correctly. And don't forget that your voice matters. So happy World Voice Day. Take care of your voice. Use it for the right things. And I'll see you guys soon.